Do the, the American, do the description. Nathan. American, what are we looking at here? Okay, we're looking at an, an invertebrate sample that we've taken from the Carabag River, um, just here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, downstream, we're downstream of, of um, the lake and upstream of... Um, That's the Carabag River. We're Dairy Garb. We're at Dairy Garb. Dairy Garb, yeah. Okay. And what is this going to tell so, us? So we're doing the citizen science index. We have six main groups that we're actually looking for, but we have a lot more than that in the in the in the sample. So we're looking for six main groups that are. Um, we have three good guys and three bad guys. And they indicate the quality, the water quality. And they yeah. indicate the water quality. Yeah. So the good guys are, are need clean water, and the bad guys can tolerate a bit of pollution. Okay. Okay. So we're looking for. That those particular groups and we score them then at the end. So, so we got the, them out of the river then? With, in we, the tray, yeah, we take a kick we sample, them, them, yeah? put, them in a, right. put them in a tray and then the, the flattened mayflies, that's the first group, good guys here, there they are, swimming around. There's, they're both of the same genus anyway, probably heptogenia. And then the stoneflies are the next good guys, if you like. There's a lot of different types of stoneflies here, which is great. Good in, in the, you know, indicating very good quality. Um, so you've got probably Perlas, uh, 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 Lutra. Perlas, Lutra. Oh, sorry, eyes, eyes of Perlas, eyes of Perlas, not eyes Perlas. Perlas, Perlas, Perlas is the, the, yeah, flattened mayflies. Two tails being the distinctive thing, and the, with the mayflies, three tails, three tails for three a mayfly. Tails for, yeah. Okay. And then there, there was a caddis fly that we were looking for, a green one, but we didn't find it. But we have a few different versions here. We have um, a, a hydrocyte, which is an uncased caddis. Um, he's not in, the, not in the scheme, but he's kind of similar to the Ryakoff, the one that we were looking for. And then we have, a, we have two different types of case caddis here. Uh, Cercostoma, the, the curvy, uh, tapered case made of fine sand grains. And then this big limnophilid, uh, bit made of kind of chunkier kind of case with, with a little ballastic coming out the back. They look like bits of timber. They look like they're bits of timber. It's good yeah. disguise, yeah, yeah. for, for the... For the um, and the uh, fish that might be eating them. And they're, are they coming out now, or they, no, can, they're, can they're, they get out? They're, they're, well, not. They're kind of. They're, they have little hooks along the side. They don't like to be out. No, if you pull them out, they'll, they'll start making a case straight away. Okay, right. Yeah. Back in. So they're. So the. They, they're good. So, flattened mayflies, stoneflies. Uh, now we don't have the particular one that we're looking for in this case, but they're 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 all good. Yeah. All good. Yeah. And then we have. Uh, we were looking for snails. And we have a few yeah. dead, oh, are they dead? This is a thing called Bithnia. Yeah, yeah, he's alive, right? They're alive, yeah. They're snails, so any snail at all, really. And we have this very small Potamopargus, this black guy here. Yeah. Uh, the mud snail, that, that, they're kind of snails, so they'll score on the, on the, the negative side the negative of the side, balance. Yeah. And then the other two negative ones we we're looking for was a thing called Acellus, which is the, the water louse which is for all the world looks like a woodlouse except it's aquatic. Yeah. We don't have any of those and we were looking for leeches and we don't have any of those so far anyway. So, so there. the other ones that we have now, we have this gamaris, which is, is the most, probably one of the most common shrimp. Uh, shrimp. Mo one of the most common invertebrates that we have in rivers. And then on the other side here we have betis, which is a mayfly too with the short middle tail, but uh, very, very common again. And we don't count them in, in the system. We don't count them like we count the flattened mayflies. And then in this one here, we have some worms. We have um, probably Isaniella, a, a, a lumbricid, a bit like a garden, uh, garden, garden worm, and a little probably Lumbriculus here. This fella here, um, Very tiny, he's another like a family, trade, yeah. another family of worms. Do we miss anything? That's, that's, that's basically the lot. Yeah, that's the lot. Yeah, that's, that's what we found in this particular sample. Now there'd be hundreds. You know, you could have at least a hundred different types that you'd recognise by, you know, just in, by eye without a microscope. If you want to identify them to more, you know, more detail levels, you, you, you'll need a microscope and keys and things. So that's it's it. telling us that it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's and, pretty the, good. and we know from the water chemistry that the that the river is in pretty good nick. Yeah. Like it, it's yeah. got, it has been getting better. It's sampled right down at, at the Hotel Westport at the end of the river, and then the phosphate the phosphate values are very low there now at this stage. They used to be a lot higher, but they, yeah. they're coming Which right is good, down. Yeah. So it's yeah, good, yeah. good news. Good news. Yeah. So good news for Westport. So if yeah. the, if yeah. the hydro, hydromorphology was good down there, it, it, you would get you'd be getting these guys. You know, yeah. Whereas at the moment you probably won't because it's too slow flowing. And, uh, you can tell the farmers of Ahagawa they're doing a good job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah no, it's no, good. No, it's good. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.